How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to another review on the channel. Today we are back on the World Cup mode because like I did say in a previous review, uh, we are switching between both modes. So you guys, you want to see certain reviews on both normal and World Cup, so I'm going to do both. Give you the best of both worlds and today we review a man who has grown some hair on foot. It is Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah has grown his hair, he's got his normal hair now and you guys will be pleased to see that because Liverpool fans, you've wanted a hair change for so damn long and fans of Egypt as well, the exact same. So uh, we're gonna review the King of Egypt today. Lads, if you do enjoy, smash a like on the review straight away. Let's try and hit 1,000 likes for the King of Egypt, Mohamed Salah himself, because he's went from a two-star weak foot to a three-star. I wanna see if that's much of an impact upon the card. That's any stats, of course, which are pretty damn impressive, especially uh, the dribbling category, which you can see there is 89 and the 93 pace, of course. Um, if you couple them both together, you got a speed dribbler, and my good God, in today's review, you're going to see some pretty damn good dribbles. And of course, facebook.com forward slash Marshall89HD. I've been streaming since Friday. It's another stream today. I will be reviewing today as well. So hop on over to the stream. I should be live by the time this goes live. So make sure you hop over to the stream and show some support over there. Extra content as I'm looking to win the World Cup with certain teams that you guys suggest, certain players that you guys suggest. Or in normal foot, we'll play the weekend league. We'll do anything, lads. It's literally packs. It's reviews, it's gameplay, it's live, it's World Cup, it's everything in terms of more content on the channel. With that being said, lads, speaking of content, let's review Mohamed Salah. So here we go, and as for the Egyptian scoring goals, he scored nine in six, so six game plays, nine goals scored, very impressed with that. However, he did get zero assists. Now that could have been a fault of my own or the bad crossing on the card because I did cross it numerous times with the free star weak foot and with the 77 crossing I do believe that it is. It just, it wasn't very good. It wasn't very good and I've got to say that straight away. So if you're looking for an all out winger, Mohamed Salah possibly isn't the man for you. He's got high to medium work rates. Three star week, but definitely a bonus with the card now, especially how good it is, like improved from a two star. It's much improved, and you can definitely tell in game. Four star skills as well. And so, um, yeah, he's five foot nine tall, and he's a demon on the wing. But like I said, if you want an all out winger that can cross the ball and do stuff like that, maybe you don't want this card because I, I know he's strong. He's got 78 strength. That isn't the worst kind of stat in the world. That is actually quite decent. 86 stamina, so you can get up and down the wing all game long. But the one that sticks out for me is the 77 crossing because on a free star week for the 77 crossing uh, maybe makes it like 70 crossing, 64 crossing or something like that and it's not very good, it's not very accurate and I know you can stick it up at the back post all the time but my crosses would go on straight in the keeper's hands every bloody time. In terms of the positive stats with the card, you got the acceleration, 94, the sprint speed, 93. This card is so damn fast, it's real. It's realistic, it's definitely realistic. I was going to say unrealistic but it is definitely realistic because in real life you can dribble at pace and on this game you're about to see he can dribble at pace. Look at that. Passed Warner. Passes to her. Passes him again. Passes another. Passes everyone on the team and finesses it from the edge of the area into the back of the net. So he is very capable of scoring the long shots. You look at the long shots, that's 79. You look at the, the curve stat, 80. So in terms of finesse shots from outside the area, he can pull them off, as you would have seen there in the background. But um, it's just the speed of dribble. Now there, I wasn't using his close control or anything like that. What I was using was literally the pace and the RB. I think I was using RB as well to kind of switch the, the direction of the dribble very, very quickly. And he can do that. He can do that at will because look at this one. He's played out wide. He's got to cut inside. He's got to cut inside. He's always going to cut inside. Look at the pace. Look at the close control. And look at the finish at the end of it. That was fantastic there from Mo Salah himself. So in terms of the pros, we're going to speak about the dribbling straight away. Because if, if you look at the dribbling category, which is not on your screen now, but I'll run through it. 87 agility. Bueno. 88 bounce. Good. Uh, 89 reactions. What's French for good? It's a uh, bon. Uh, <laughs> I don't know any other languages. He's got 89 ball control, 90 dribbling, and 88 composure. So in terms of the dribbling category, he is one of the best on the World Cup mode, hands down. You look like the Messi, you look like the Neymar, like the Cristiano Ronaldo, the icons like R9. Then you've got Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah is the cream of the crop because he's just so good in terms of that dribbling category. And if he gets any special cards during the World Cup, this card, of course, 
gets upped, so that'll make him even bloody better. And with the agility that he's got, the balance that he's got, he is very, very evasive. And you've got to couple that in with the strength as well. The strength is 78, so in terms of like rubbing shoulders with defenders or CDMs or fullbacks, wherever he is on the field, he can definitely do that and get the better of them because he does have a decent amount of strength and he doesn't go to ground due to the balance that he's got of 88 and the strength that he's got of 78. His aggression is quite low at 63. And uh, yeah, he can be robbed of the ball. Anyone can be robbed of the ball in this game. But Mohamed Salah normally stays on his feet unless it's inside the area, which you will be seeing later on in this review. You look at the quick feet on the card. You look at the acceleration, the 94 acceleration, uh, the sprint speed, of course. But the acceleration, the agility is what gives him the quick feet. And the quick feet is what makes him like different from a lot of other players. As you would have seen the goal there in the background. I just want to refer to that quickly because, as you know, two star weak foot on normal foot, three star weak foot on this one. This is the difference. Look inside the area. First time shot across the keeper. That is a fantastic goal on the three star weak foot. So he can provide that on his right now. And it is great. It is fantastic. And he can definitely provide in game with the right foot in terms of scoring goals. In terms of crossing, however, it is on the bad side. And uh, again, I'll get into that later on in this review. As Cristiano Ronaldo does well, plays in the Mo Salah, and the rest is history because after the pace, after the movement, we have the finishing. The finishing is unbloody believable. Give him a chance, he's scoring a goal every single time because he's got 88 finishing. For one of the players that's like one of the highest rated, well, one of the highest rated, one of the highest goal scorers in world football, no wonder he's got 88 finishing. I think they've done very well in terms of adding this stat to the card and, well, improving his finishing, I should say, because he is very good in that category. And with 88 composure as well, this guy, he knows how to put the ball in the back of the net. The only doubts I've got with that is the shot power on the card, 76, and the long shots, 79. And it wasn't the worst stat in the world, these long shots, but it's not the best stat in the world. It's under 80. And so the shot power, of course, 76. It doesn't really generate too much power on his shots unless it's like a bot shot. And um, yeah, it's not great on, in terms of scoring goals and stuff like that. So the shot power, what I like to stress to you to do every single time is drive into the area, load driven it or finesse it. Finesse it is very important with this card. Again, the curve stat isn't that great. It is 80, but it is effective as you would have seen in the first clip of this review. As you see, some more great in the background, more pacey, direct dribbling, gets the chance, and again, the rest is history there, lovely finesse, and the opponent does rage quit in that instance, as he dribbles from deep this time, and again, it's more direct dribbles, he plays into Thierry Henry, Thierry Henry back to Mo Salah, and he just crunches his man, that is a penalty every single day of the week, when you look at the dribbling and the quick feet, you also look at the pace, because acceleration, 94, sprint speed, 93, this card is so damn rapid, it is unbloody believable, as a first card as a base card this card is one of the fastest on the game and he can definitely feel his pace in game in terms of generating that, that ultimate kind of force to pass any player on this game in terms of utilizing the acceleration and sprint speed and the movement as a right midfielder or right forward, I play him in both of those positions. You need good movement. You need good movement because, as you all know, if you've got the pace and you don't have the movement, it's pointless. It's literally pointless unless you just pass it to his feet every single time. But if you've got a player that can run onto the ball and get in behind, look at his hair. That is exquisite. Exquisite? That, that's the word, lads. That is the word. Exquisite. So, um, yeah. In terms of the movement, it is great. He's got height to medium work rates and his attack and positioning is 90. So he always gets in the right place right time and within the place that he gets into he moves very very well within that so that is great in terms of his movement in general and he does get into advantageous situations a lot of the time the other kind of pros i would talk about with the card of course you've got the acceleration the sprint speed which you can see on the screen there the finishing which i've spoken about but also the close control of the card and that goes in the ball control as you see as you can see there in the background and we go down in the game but the ball control is very good with the card the only cons i did find was the shot power the cross and the three star weak foot not so much of a con he did bang one in or two in with the three star weak foot so i found that very very good in terms of giving this guy an overall rating the similar players the enjoyment rating etc etc he did score nine goals at the same time he didn't really assist anything because he was very direct in his dribbles that was me of course but at the same time i was crossing the ball and it was just going nowhere lads absolutely nowhere so i'm going to give him the overall rating of 
a 9.0. 9.0 is a very good rating for a base card, in my opinion, especially for an 88 Mohamed Salah. He's a great card. He's a very enjoyable card. One of the only issues with the card is getting him on full Ken, because, of course, you got to go African with uh, Egypt being in Africa. So you got to go with that confederation. So uh, in terms of me playing him on full Ken, I had a right back from Egypt, of course, to give him that 8 Ken or something like that. And I had an Egyptian manager give him, like, 9. And I had another link to him that gives him 10. So, um, yeah, he did get 10 chemistry in my team. Team. And that's what I would stress to you. Go go back, have a look at the team, and maybe like um, include that within your selections or within your thoughts in making a team around Mohamed Salah. The enjoyment rating is kind of 9.5. Very enjoyable card. I mean, what's not to enjoy of a pacey player that can dribble directly at a player, look him dead in the eyes, and then just jink either side and just leave him for dust? What's not to enjoy about that? In terms of a super sub, this guy would be dangerous on off the bench. Starter, definitely starter material in my eyes. Similar players, we have Neymar, and we have Messi, of course he gets compared to Messi in real life as the Egyptian Messi, but um, on this game, he's literally the Egyptian Messi, he's that close to Messi, it is crazy, I've used Messi once or twice, he's a good player on this game, I haven't packed him on my main account however, which I still need to do, and lads, that's going to be it for this review, in the comment section below, list any player, whether it be normal foot, whether it be World Cup mode, that you want me to review next, it will be out tomorrow I do believe, there was only one upload today, because I did have issues getting a thumbnail and stuff like that, but we've got it, and so um, yeah, the video is out. So if you have enjoyed the video, smash a like on it, lads. It takes two seconds of your time and it is massively, massively appreciated. Again, drop comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. I will be live streaming when this goes live or uh, just after this goes live. So make sure you keep an eye out for that on my social medias. But guys, that is it. Smash a like, subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will catch you all next time.